Hi, I'm Miles from the Key Lime Kids, and I'm here with my mom. Thanks, Miles. Hi, everybody. I'm Alexis, and we are here for an episode of Key Lime Kids, where we teach you a kitchen skill and then demonstrate that skill in a recipe. What are we making today, Miles? Um, flatbread. We're making some flatbread, some easy skillet flatbread. We are going to show you how to use a rolling pin, how to roll dough out. Um, there's so many different doughs you can roll out. Cookie dough, pie dough. Um, we are doing a flatbread, and we have a lot of different rolling pins out here. We have the French style one, we have this one, we have that one. This is a kid one that we got a long time ago. And actually it's my favorite one to use for these flatbreads because you only want to get them like maybe about that big. Yeah. Yeah. So I love this one, it's a little one, but whatever kind of rolling pin you have, it'll work. Um, are you ready to get started? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, Miles, you're gonna mix this up with a whisk. I've got a half a teaspoon of baking powder. A half a teaspoon of sugar. We're gonna do two teaspoons of salt. Yep, just whisk that all the dry ingredients together. Two teaspoons of salt. And then we're gonna add yogurt. We why wanna yogurt? why yogurt? Because it makes it a really nice tender flatbread with a little bit of tang and it's nice and healthy. In here we have a cup of whole wheat flour and a cup of regular flour. So and now actually, so you whisked all that stuff in? Yeah. We're gonna switch to the spoon because it's gonna get a little bit too thick for the whisk. Spoon, where's the spoon? In the yogurt. Oh. The spoon. Yeah. So I'm gonna give you this and you just mix all that yogurt in. There you go. Mom? Yeah. Doesn't some dough and recipes need to rise? I'm pretty sure that this one doesn't. You're right. This is a non-yeasted bread, so it does not need to rise. It's really, really fast to put together, as you guys just saw. And um, let's mix a little bit. Yep. And it, um, it has a little bit of baking soda in it, which is going to make it puffy. That's going to react with the um, yogurt, and it's going to make it nice and puffy when it goes in the skillet. So it's so easy to put together. Sometimes you might need a little bit more yogurt. Sometimes you might need a little bit more flour, but let's see. It smells good. It does smell good, you're right. So yes, and then what we're gonna do is put it out on the board and show you guys how to roll it. Okay, look at this nice dough. It came together really quickly in the bowl and we're just gonna knead it on the board just a couple of times. You, this is not a yeasted dough and you don't have to knead it a lot. It's really, really fast, just enough for it to kind of come together and make a nice dough. And this, then we have a dough cutter? Yeah, it's a dough scraper, um, a bowl scraper. I, I like because when you're making dough, you can really get in there with the bowl and get all the little pieces of dough out. I also like using the flat edge it to cut better. it. It does, yeah. This makes six pieces. So we're going to do one at a time. Put these aside and we're going to roll this one out. So. Or you um, want to get started? Yeah. All right. First, what do you think we should do? Um, flour. Flour. Make sure it's not going to stick. And then, Push yeah. Push it down and then roll it. Right. Good idea. Do you know why? Um, because then it's like easier to roll. Yeah. Also, um, roll from the middle. Roll from the middle. Out. Exactly right. Because... If you roll from the edge, you're just pushing all the dough in one direction. It's, it's going to not get in the right shape. It's going to be harder to roll. So yes, you flatten it into the shape that you want it to go in. And these don't need to be perfect. We're going for a round shape, but it doesn't have to be perfectly round. They're pretty rustic little flatbreads. And you, you just start out in the shape that you want to go and you roll from the middle. Make and sure you, you do not press too hard. That's right, because then it's just going to stick to the board. And if you need more flour, you can always add a little more flour. Make sure it doesn't stick. We want to oh, get these. Good, right? Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, we're gonna keep rolling, finish these up, and then get them in the warm skillet. All right, we're cooking. We uh, we've got one going on the skillet. Miles is finishing up with the rolling, and I just want to show you all how beautiful this is. Got so nice and golden, and I'm gonna put another one on. I'm gonna put that one aside. We're using a dry skillet which means you don't need any oil. You could use a griddle if you've got a griddle. They only take about a minute aside, so they're so easy and so fast. And Miles, tell me what your favorite thing to eat these with, because we make these all the time. Cheese. Um, you like them with cheese? And hummus. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, sometimes I put just a little bit of grated cheese on top and the kids have a like nice cheesy flatbread. Sometimes we make chicken skewers and serve them with maybe a tomato and cucumber salad and feels a little bit more Mediterranean with some hummus on the side. So they are so good and they're so easy and they're pretty healthy. Um, and I hope that you guys really enjoy them. I'm gonna flip this one over. We're gonna keep cooking and we're gonna have a really great, great dinner. Thanks for your help, Mayos. You're welcome. <laughs> See you next time.